Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Today, let's talk about Kyle Kushoff. Well, the topic of the story, the important uh, things we got to be focusing on, is not really Kyle Kushoff. It's the state of academia in general. Now, Kyle Kushoff, he although is a principal character of this particular video, not really what we should be focusing on here. So for people who don't know, Kyle Kushev was one of the uh, survivors of the Florida school shooting in Parkland, Florida. And uh, unlike the vast majority of his classmates who got the mainstream attention, he's actually a pro Second Amendment guy. He's a conservative guy. I like him. He's uh, very smart. Well, I think he's very smart. What do I know? But he got accepted into Harvard. Harvard has an acceptance rate of 5%, probably a little less. And every year, the, about 45,000 to 47,000 students apply to Harvard. And we're talking about 47,000 people globally, I think. Harvard is also one of those uh, places that practices large-scale affirmative action. For people who don't know, Harvard it has a bit of a problem with Asian students. They're not taking in Asian students because they think there's too many Asians. Yes, that's woke and progressive today. And they've, for a long period of time, have discriminated against white people. They've also historically if you go back historical context they also had some discrimination against jewish people the point is harvard is one of those schools they decide that if we have a disproportionate representation of one particular demographic in our school we're going to try limit that even if uh, that results in a loss of meritocracy harvard is not alone but they are one of the high profile places to do that how does kyle kusha fit in the reason why Kyle Kushev got uh, suspended from Harvard, well, he didn't actually start classes, so his application got rescinded from Harvard, is because this Google Docs document came out when Kyle Kushev, who is a young kid right now, when this incident happened, he was 16, he apparently used the N-word about 12 or 14 times. This is a picture of the situation, and Kyle, brother, <laughs> Why'd you have to bold it and then you italicized it? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're going for this, brother. But anyway, so this thing came out. And also, uh, there were also some anti-Semitic jokes that he said. I think those are, those are just jokes. But Harvard obviously thinks differently. And his application got rescinded. As in, he's not going to Harvard. At least, that's what it seems like. So Harvard disqualified his application based on what he did as a 16-year-old kid. I personally don't have a problem with it. I think it's a really shitty thing that Harvard did. But if those are the standards, they get to make the rules as to who gets to Harvard. And if Harvard decides that we're only going to take perfect saints, fine, that's their business. I mean, what am I to say? However, you can almost bet your salary that they're not going to apply the standard to everyone. Now, I'm not saying Harvard rescinded his application because he's a uh, political, uh, politically active person. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is Harvard got bullied into it by the social justice warriors that run academia. You can rest assured that in 2019, by the way, kids that are uh, applying to Harvard today, their entire life is documented in social media. When I applied for school, I was just as retarded when I was 16 as Kyle Kushev. Actually, I was 10 times more stupid than Kyle Kushev. But there isn't a <laughs> detailed documentation of my life when I was 16. Unfortunately for kids today, that isn't the case. If this is the standard that Harvard uses, there's going to be a whole bunch of really, really smart people that deserve to be there, but won't be there because something was uncovered that they did when they were 16. Now, they do all this in conjunction with their bizarre affirmative action. If you are white and if you're Asian, you're not getting into Harvard, at least if you're not as smart as the rest of your peers. You got you need to be head and shoulders ahead of your peers and then accept 
at least 32 other religions in addition to your own and hopefully one of the gods will have mercy on you for a white kid or an Asian kid to get into Harvard. Now I know Kyle Kashev is Jewish, that doesn't matter. In terms of academia, uh, being Jewish doesn't get you affirmative action. If you want to get affirmative action, you need melanin in your skin or you need to be uh, indigenous. That's how these things work. So that's just a really crappy standard and I'm worried about kids in general. They can do this to just about anyone. Anyone who's more than 16 years old probably did uh, not so intelligent things when they were 16. And if you piss off the right amount of social justice warriors. Now by the way, Kyle Kushev had a significantly uh, active political profile so there are people who would be defending him. Think about other kids. How many other kids have the profile of Kyle Kushev? What if somebody digs up stuff that they did when they were 14, 15, or 16 and then Harvard gives them the boot? And by the way, once again, I really want to use Harvard as a common noun. If Harvard is doing it, rest assured Yale would be doing it. Rest assured that other Ivy League schools would also be doing it. They, they sort of have this hive mentality. So this is just one of those... Uh, just another blow for academia. Just another really heavy blow. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys later.